I believe that what is taking place in this world right now with all this craziness that is going on is all part of a global shift. Now, a lot of people are thinking that I'm talking about climate change and all this other kind of stuff. I think that what is really actually taking place is more of a shift of the poles as they are moving and they are shifting. The poles are slowly transitioning and they're moving. And I think this is having a great impact on what is taking place with all this crazy weather that we have been having. I mean, here in Florida, we just got hit with a hurricane in November, which is very, very rare. It's only happened a few times since the 1800s. Now, all these different storms that have been taking place, extreme tornadoes, um, you're already starting to get blizzards this year. There's a lot of different stuff that has taken effect. We have major droughts. You have the Mississippi River that is running dry, which is the main artery that feeds all the barges and everything with all the goods and oil and everything else and gas that needs to go up and down that Mississippi River on a daily basis to supply all those cities, towns and everything all the way up through the river itself. There's things that are taking place. There's things out west they're just running dry. Lake Mead is at an all-time low. It's almost to the point where they're going to be shutting it down. They just don't have the water. They don't have the resources to make sure that people in some of those major areas out there are going to be able to continue to live in those areas because of the lack of water. Water is the name of the game, folks. I mean, without the water, life doesn't exist. Everything has to have water at some point in time to exist. Yes, a cactus can last a very long time without water, but eventually it does need some water. You know, we all sit here and we all think about everything that's going on and we have the government that's always pushing their great new agenda that they want to push through with the whole climate change and everything else and they're spending billions and trillions of dollars on all this kind of stuff to try to change everything does anybody ever sit back and really ask the question is this just something that has something to do with mother nature itself and the way that things change over time we're talking this place has been around for millions and billions of years you know what i'm saying and throughout history things have changed things have uh taken place continents have divided and we have different continents now instead of one big continent it divided we have different areas there's a lot of things that are happening that a lot of people either choose not to really talk about because it's not part of their agenda or they just don't want to come out and tell anybody the truth which and probably both things are true what we really have to make sure that we are doing because we live in this such extreme um, environment now between all the different aspects not just with mother nature with the political stuff going on, with the wars going on in this world, with people at each other's throat constantly, man against man, you know, neighbor against neighbor, you know, the whole nine yards, it's all going to hell in a handbasket really fast here, folks, and we need to be prepared. What can we do? The only thing that we can do, the only thing we have control of, is what you do for yourself what we do to bring into our homes for our families to try to make sure that we're protecting our families they're providing for our families and that we're giving our families a roof over their head and we're trying to make sure that we can give them the quality of life that every human being deserves what more is there to really ask we have to sit back and ask the question, what can we do today to make tomorrow better for our families? And that is probably the number one question we all need to be asking ourselves right now. 
Maybe that means you need to be prepping. Maybe you need to be putting away a lot of different supplies and everything else, not just your food supplies. Like I have said, it's a big piece of the pie. All right, way to either store water, filter water, or whatever else. You need to make sure that you are doing what you can. There is so many things that are taking place on a daily basis that we have to make sure what we are doing, we are making good quality decisions for our families. We have to make sure that we are doing that because the government does not do that, okay? If something majorly happens, they cannot get in and take care of everyone, all right? They don't have the resources. FEMA is a joke, okay? And you just have to make sure that you are providing for yourselves and your families. The government is not going to be there to help you. Your local government is probably not gonna be able to help a whole lot because they don't have the money or the resources like the federal government does. But the federal government is stretched so thin, the resources and money are being spent on all the BS as far as the Great New Deal, the climate change and everything else. We're sending billions of dollars to Ukraine to fight what? We don't know. You know, we I mean, we don't know where the money's going, how it's being spent, what? nothing. We know nothing about that whole situation. The money that needs to be being spent in this country needs to be being spent here. They should not be sending any money outside this country right now in the given situation that we are in with high interest rates, recession on going right now, people can't afford their rent or their mortgages. People are being evicted. They can't afford food. You have the vets living on the streets, okay? What is taking place here? We're forgetting about the American people and we're trying to take care of everybody else when it should be the other way around. We should be taking care of the American people first and then taking care of the rest of the world. There's nothing wrong with helping out and, you know, another country or something like that and in a time of emergency or something. But we have to make sure that our own people here are taken care of first so that we can succeed in surviving. So in other words, you are the one that has to make this decision and you have to make sure you're providing for your family. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope everybody stays safe. You keep prepping. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side. <laughs>